world to you. Happy Purim. I think you're like a modern day Esther. You know Esther in the book of Esther, the Megillat Esther? You look like with the crown, but like the Queen of Sheba or something amazing. And were you born in Ethiopia and came to Aliyah, Israel? No, actually I Is that the one in the plane with the wings of it's eagles? The plane, but uh, yeah, the Solomon operation. But the Solomon one, operation. When she told the story, it looked like a plane. There was a plane, the military plane. Yes. And uh, it was military. Uh, very, That's very us. early, yeah, very early in the morning, and uh, it was very hard, and the people was crushed and worked very hard. And uh, when she came to Israel, also there is a big funeral, yeah. Yeah. And, you know. I think to me, somewhere, someone in the. She should. Every immigrant, even I made Alia years and years ago, and I, I'm writing a book right now. But I really think you should write a book because the Bible talks about this. It says, I, it says, from the north, uh, give them up from the south. Don't hold them back. I will bring them to the ends of the earth and gather them. This is why we, as the Alia Return Center, work so hard to help all these events and put on these uh, celebrations. Shalom friends and welcome to the Esther event here where we're really commemorating not only Esther's but also Mordecai's modern day heroes who just like the heroes of the past have been such a blessing to Israel and actually have rescued and helped Israel. Now many of these are hidden heroes just like Esther it almost sounds like the name uh, Mustav or uh, Hester which is hidden right there's a mystery here and uh, as you can see around me these are immigrants that have come here to our event uh, which we're doing along with the Ministry of Aliyah, Ministry of Absorption. The Aliyah Return Center is bringing these modern-day Esthers and their children to a fun day so they can celebrate uh, Purim, which is this festival that it says. And, and what's your name? What's your name? Abigail. Abigail. And what are you dressed as? Thief. A princess? No, thief. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, a cartoon character of some sort. So people love to dress up. And Purim, the reason why they dress up and celebrate is because of the whole mystery in the book of Esther of how God was working and it was like a disguise. Esther had a disguise on. No one knew she was Jewish. Even Haman didn't know when this vicious, um, genocidal, destroy all of Israel edict went forth that he pushed forth. He cast lots. You can read it in the scroll of Esther. We read it every year. And what happens is there comes a time where Esther was chosen to be queen and she has to go before the king uninvited. And this is the choice I think all these Esthers have to make. It's dangerous, but will you stand up and speak out for what's right? That's the choice they're making. Will you choose to stand with Israel? For them, stand in Israel, come and make their journey home to the Promised Land. And uh, many think that the actual Cyrus edict could have been Esther's child. Quite possibly, we don't know. And so, Many of these modern day Esthers and, and modern day Mordecais are celebrating an event. Now what happened in Esther, turn to Esther chapter 4, book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 13 and 14. And you see that Mordecai approaches Esther and he says, he challenges her and he says, Esther, what if you were brought to the throne for such a time as this? If you don't speak up, God will rescue Israel. It's his promised land. It's his promised covenant. He'll rescue Israel from somewhere else, but you know, you will perish. But don't you want to be used by God? I'm paraphrasing. And she chose to fast. And we've called a fast. Many people are fasting with us. And many people are have fasted before this time for three days. And now it's a time that after the fast, we're all celebrating. Now come with me and see that through the kindness and generosity of many modern day Esthers out there in the world, we've been able to uh, supply games for these Ethiopian immigrants. Imagine they've come from uh, you know mud huts. And, uh, and they've come to make their alia in this land. And we want to welcome them, not only with the food, clothing, shelter, job training, you know, Hebrew school. We want to give them some fun times, some fun events just like these. That's what you make possible. I want you to see this. Ata'alita la'aretz? Mi Ethiopia? Ah. Ech kurum lecha? Bakalo. Bakalo. Wow. And ech kurum lecha? 
Yosef, like Joseph in the Bible, that's amazing. She is a Esther. She is dressed as a Moroccan Jew from the country of Morocco, and that is a traditional dress. Wow. Thank you for this. You're doing an amazing job for these wonderful people. God bless you. Thank you very much, she says. God bless you. We should have a costume, um, we should have a costume contest. Anyway, so you can see here that not only is it like basketball and fun and games, but we also, uh, are, every year we love to do events. If you want to know when our next event is at the Aliyah Return Center, it's on every biblical holiday and national holiday on the calendar. Get your prophetic calendar 2024 on our store. And you'll see, you'll be in tune exactly with what our next events are and our next online events. Passover, you don't want to miss it, it's coming up soon. Now over here, you'll see we did a whole maze and a whole, um, whole bunch of fun stuff. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video.